welcome back to the class on uh, our civil connected rights in this lecture we are going to discuss about the closed loop control block diagram of vsf fed three phase induction motor drive initially we are going to see what are the different compounds we are using in a closed loop block diagram of three phase induction motor drive speed regulator it is a pi controller which decreases the error in a state it gives a good steady state error and transient error steady state error is nothing but a the actual speed of induction motor which is same as the reference time generally so many controllers are there pi controller pid controller pd controller fuzzy controller neuro controller or basic controller pi controller that is good here we have we have taken the pi controller voltage regulator also the pi controller which decreases the error in voltage it gives a good steady state error and transient response it generates a modulation index to the pwm mode flux control block it is a circuit which generates a reference voltage based upon the input frequency so the input to the flux control block is a frequency the output is a voltage that voltage will be generated based upon the frequency so the frequency below the base frequency it gives the constant v by f control if the frequency above the rated value the voltage applied to the induction motor is kept constant at a rated value which is nothing but a, it gives the constant voltage of the slip regulator already we know that slip is nothing but a, it is a difference between the synchronous speed of a motor to the actual speed of a motor the slip of the induction motor is highly depending upon the how much current is taken by the induction motor it regulates the slip of the induction motor for a given stator current the slip of the induction motor is constant it generates a reference slip speed it sets the slip of the induction motor to the positive maximum value and a negative maximum value during the transient operation depending upon the error in the speed pwm motor it is a power transit circuit which converts the dc voltage to the three phase pwm ac voltage which is applied to the three phase induction motor it is providing a motoring operation as well as a braking option to the induction motor now we are going to see the closed loop block diagram of a three phase induction motor this is the closed loop control of a vsa drive is a three phase induction motor it is consisting a speed sensor this is a rotor of induction motor black one this outer one is the stator of induction motor this is a pw inverter the output of the pw inverter is given to the motor this is a input dc voltage this is a reference speed this is a speed controller this is slip regulator this is a flux control block this is a voltage regulator closed loop control is consisting a outer speed loop inner slip to speed loop so why you have taken a slip speed loop mean the slip of the induction motor is highly depending upon the how much current is taken by the induction motor so indirectly we are controlling the the current taken by the induction motor from the pwm motor it is also nothing but a current loop now this is a voltage measurement this voltage measurement is measure the voltage given here this is a speed sensor this is a reference put to the speed controller is the error in speed how do you get the error in speed mean the difference between the reference speed and actual speed of a motor it will be processed by speed controller the output of the speed controller is given to slip regulator which sets the reference slip speed for the reference slip speed if we add the actual speed of induction motor it will get the synchronous speed once you know the synchronous speed divide by 2 pi will give the frequency the frequency command is given to the pwm motor the forward path is computed now come to the this loop see here the input to the flux control block is the synchronous speed that divided by 2 pi gives the frequency for a given frequency the flux control block will be generating a reference voltage how this reference voltage will be generated here if the frequency will be less than the rated frequency then v by f is constant in that manner the reference voltage will be set if the frequency more than the base frequency then the voltage is kept constant at a rated value now this reference voltage will be compared with the actual voltage the error in voltage is given to the voltage regulator it is also pi controller the output of the voltage regulator is a modulation index that is given to the pwm inverter If the modulation index is changes, the voltage applied to the induction motor will be also will be changes. 
this is the function of each block in a closed loop control of a vhs address now we are going to see how this block diagram will be operate suppose if there is an increase in reference speed the error in the speed becomes a positive so slip regulator will be set the maximum reference slip speed whenever we, it is setting a maximum reference slip speed the motor will be taking a high amount of current so the maximum torque will be developed in the induction motor it will be accelerate very fast whenever the motor is accelerated very fastly the error in the speed will be decreases once the error in the speed is decreases then the slip regulator will be sets a value of the slip of the induction motor such a way that the developed torque in the induction motor is equal to the load on a induction motor suppose if there is a decrease in the reference speed of induction motor error in the speed becomes a here the error in the speed becomes a negative which sets the slip regulator to the negative slip speed whenever it sets the negative slip speed the braking of the induction motor will be occur at a maximum torque condition negative slip speed is nothing but a braking operation so the speed of the motor will be decreases once the speed of the motor is decreases then the error in the speed will be decreases once the error in the speed is decreases finally the slip of the induction motor will be set to the such a value such that the developed torque in induction motor is equal to the load on a induction motor in this manner control block will be operating the induction motor thank you very much if you have any doubt you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box as well my youtube channel so that i am always available to answer all your questions